Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam with two supports A and B and there is a 5 kN load acting on the mid span of the overhanging beam. And we have to find out the support reactions at point A and point B and also then to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this type of the beam. So there are three span of the beam 2.5 meter, 4 meter and 2.5 meter, meter. We will find out the support reaction for this beam in a very simple and easy way. So there will be the two options to find out the support reactions. I mean the two methods. So let's suppose this is a hinge support so it can take the vertical reaction and here is the rotor support it can also take the vertical reaction. The hinge can also take the horizontal load but hence there is no horizontal load acting on this beam that's why the horizontal component of this hinge will be equal to zero. Now to find out the support reactions R A and R B we can find it by two methods. So R A, R B these are unknown to us. So the first method is very really simple and easy. If you look to this diagram there is a simply there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter acting only at the mid span of the beam. Here you can see at the 4 meter span there is this load acting. Now the easiest way is to find is to change this load into pointed load. For example, how to do this? 5 kN load is distributed over the length of 4 meter. So 5 kN per meter multiplying it with the 4 meter because it is distributed over the 4 meter so meter will be cancelled we will get 20 kN so it means we transfer this load into pointed load 20 kN and it will act at the center of this 4 meter it means 2 meter from this end and also 2 meter from this end so after 20 kN just divide this 20 kN by 2 why because we have two supports R A and R B so 20 kN dividing by 2 we get here 10 kN so each support reaction is equal to 10 kN this is the most easy way to find out the support reactions when you have symmetry loading symmetric type of loading on the beam it means your load is symmetric on the span of the beam for example in this case my load is only acting on the mid span of the beam and it is symmetry uh, around, uh, across the support reactions so we just multiply this load 5 kN with the distributed length of 4 meter so we can get our total load and then dividing it by 2 because we have two supports so each support reactions are A and R B equal to the 10 kN this is the first method which is most easy method now the second method is the by using the equilibrium equations for example let's suppose summation of moment at point B equal to 0 at this point we want to summation of moment at point B equal to 0 and let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So now what we have to what we can do here so all the moment about point D taking it zero so now for the first load that creates a moment about point B is this RA which is unknown to us for example we have to delete it because we don't know the support reactions. So now R A creates a moment about point B because we want to take the summation of, mo summation of moment up at point B. So R A multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this load to the point where you want to find out the moment. So it is the distance from R A to point B which is 4 meter here. It is in clockwise direction because it is acting upward and hence clockwise moment around point B. Now the second load that creates moment about point B is this 5 kN. As we find out this 5 multiplying it with the 4 here we have and this load is acting downward so it is create anti-clockwise moment about point B so that's why it is taken as negative. So minus 5 kN per meter is the load multiplying it with the 4 meter because 4 is the distributed length multiplying it with the moment arm. Now this load acts at the center as I discussed below so the moment arm is 2 meter from the mid span to the B point 2 meter so RA comes out to be 4 RA equal to if you shift this value to the right side we get here 40 or RA is equal to 40 divided by 4 we get here
10 kilonewton. So which we find out before that it is 10 kilonewton. Similarly, to find out the RB, summation of moment at point, summation of vertical force is equal to zero, and let's suppose taking upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. So the upward forces are, are A and RB, these are acting upward. You see here, upward and upward, and the only force downward acting is 5 kN divided, multiplying it with the 4, because it is distributed over the 4 meter. Summation of all the vertical forces is equal to zero, so RA comes out to be sorry rb comes out to be if you shift this into the right side so it is 20 minus ra and 20 minus we know that ra is 10 kilonewton so 20 minus 10 we got here ra comes out to be 10 kilonewton so here the rb sorry the rb comes out to be 20 10 kilonewton so this is the way to find out the support reactions by two methods one is a very simple and easy method, which is submit. We can we can call it symmetric method, and the second one is by using the equilibrium equations. Now, to we find out the support reactions here, ten kilonewton and ten kilonewton each. Now, to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So, this support reaction is ten. This support reaction is ten kilonewton, and also this support reaction is ten kilonewton. So by drawing the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment here, for example, this is for the shear force in the unit of kilonewton, and this is for the bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter. So 10 kilonewton here, these are the reference lines. So 10 kilonewton is acting upward. So 10 kilonewton will be in upward direction. Then there is a distributed load of 5 kN per meter distributed over the length of 4 meter. So 5 into 4 is 20. So 20 is acting here at the midpoint, 20 kN. So this is 10 kN and 10 is acting in upward direction, minus 20 is acting downward direction, this load. So 10 minus 20 we get here minus 10. So we will bring this shear force here, sorry, we can bring this here. to minus 10 kN and here we can see our support reactions is also 10 kN so this is our shear force diagram now to draw the bending moment diagram this is 4 km so this will be half of 4 2 meter because the load is symmetric so to find out this area we will find out our bending moment diagram how to find out the area of this shear force diagram this is for example A1 and this shear force is let's suppose a2 so to find out the area of this triangle a1 is equal to half base into height it is area of triangle now half base is 2 meter multiplying with the height which is 10 kN so 2 2 will be cancelled we got here 10 so it means at this point finding out the area so at this point we have 10 kN 10 kN meter is the bending moment which is the maximum moment at this point similarly what is the area of this triangle it is also 2 meter so the area of this A2 will be half base into height base is 2 meter height is 10 so 2 2 will be cancelled and 10 is minus we know that it is minus 10 so again A2 is minus 10 kN meter so it means if we add this plus 10 with the minus 10 we will get here zero so it means the bending moment diagram is zero at both points and maximum at this point which is the center of the beam you can also prove this moment 10 kN meter by which formula by this one that the maximum moment of the beam which will act here at this point at midpoint we found out it was 10 kN meter by from the graph so we can use this equation WL square by 8 this is the way to find out the moment for the load when it is a uniformly distributed load so we can find the maximum moment for the beam so it will be WL square by W we know that it is 5 kN per meter multiplying with L square L square is 4 4 square dividing by 8 so here we have 5 into 16 divided by 8 so 
So if you multiply and divide this, we got here 10 kN. So this is the way to prove that our bending moment exists at the midpoint, which is 10 kN, which is the maximum bending moment. So if you guys understand how to find out the support reactions, the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram, and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.